tell us a little bit about your trip and what you have planned? Well, we have uh, the NPT Review Conference, which is uh, a, uh, an important uh, part of uh, NPT review process it takes place every five years, and it's an important occasion for people to uh, assess uh, the uh, progress in implementation of the NPT. As you know, NPT rests on three pillars, uh, nuclear disarmament, uh, non-proliferation, and peaceful use of nuclear energy. Uh, and there has been a great deal of reluctance on the part of uh, nuclear weapon states to implement and to comply with their obligations under the treaty, uh, Article 6 of the treaty, which calls for nuclear disarmament. There has also been a great deal of reluctance uh, in, uh, in the process of universalization of the treaty. As you know, since uh, 1970s, the General Assembly of the United Nations has been calling for the establishment of a nuclear weapons-free zone in the Middle East. And in 1995, when the NPT was renewed, uh, there was a declaration on the need for universality of the NPT as well as the need for establishment of a nuclear weapons-free zone in the Middle East. This uh, request or requirement and demand of the international community and member states of the NPT was again repeated in 2010 in the last review conference. Unfortunately, Israel's possession of nuclear weapons and its refusal to engage with the international community has become the greatest impediment to universality of, the, of this treaty. And Israel is the single most violator of this international regime, which is a requirement of the international community. Uh, so one of the most important issues in the NPT review process is to look into ways and means of bringing about universality and bringing about Israeli compliance with, with NPT. So that is going to be one of the major uh, tasks that is ahead of all of us, uh, both in the, in the entire review process, as well as tomorrow when I have the occasion of presenting the views of the non-aligned movement, 120 members of the international community, an overwhelming majority of, of this body who believe both in the nuclear disarmament, the, uh, they believe that the most important uh, priority for this review conference should be to put pressure on nuclear weapon states to accept the call of the international community and their obligation under, the, under Article 6 of the NPT to set a time limit for, to get rid of their nuclear weapons and uh, allow the international community to get rid of this nuclear nightmare which has been living on there for the past uh, six decades. Uh, also, the issue of universality and uh, Israeli compliance with, with, the, with the NPT, as well as the other pillars of, of the treaty, which, is, which are non-proliferation and peaceful use. Unfortunately, we see a lot of impediments being placed before, these, uh, before members, non-nuclear weapon state, members of the NPT, uh, in the way of achieving uh, and gaining access to nuclear technology. So all of these issues will be raised tomorrow. Uh, Iran will speak on behalf of the non-aligned movement as chairman of as chairman of the movement, and it happens that all of our national positions are in line with the positions of the non-aligned movement. So I'll be speaking both in, in presenting our national position as well as in presenting the positions of the non-aligned movement tomorrow. Great. And, and what else do you have planned? There, there are talks that you have, uh, discussions with some 5 plus 1 member states, some possible well, uh, Secretary of State Kerry. All, all uh, multilateral meetings uh, provide a setting for sideline uh, bilateral discussions, and I will have several of those, uh, both with uh, uh, countries in the region who will be present, the European countries, uh, EU uh, high representative, as well as with members of 5 plus 1 and probably with Secretary Kerry. Uh, with some, we will be discussing um, important regional issues. I'll be seeing the Secretary General and Deputy Secretary General and other members of the Secretariat in order to see what we can do together uh, to put an end to uh, the disaster in Syria, in Iraq, and in particularly in Yemen. Uh, these, are, these are important issues. I'll be meeting with some regional foreign ministers uh, in order to see how best we can uh, put our efforts together to put an end to extremism and violence in our region. With uh, Secretary Kerry, I'll be focusing on how 
to move forward with the nuclear discussions because that's the issue that we have uh, focused on with the United States. Those are the talks that we have been carrying on. With, with uh, High Representative of the EU, uh, Federico Mogherini, I'll be discussing both. Uh, the nuclear issue as well as regional issues. So we have an opportunity, as, as these settings always provide that opportunity, for serious discussion on, on a multitude of issues, including the nuclear fight. And we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good to be with you.